you probably stumbled across this video because you own one of these, a gasoline powered outboard motor. And you've been wondering, what lies beyond? Well, the answer obviously is electric, as with everything these days, pretty much. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the main differences between this one and this one. Quick disclaimer first, uh, this is not gonna be like a super in-depth technical review of these motors or something. This is gonna be a show and tell, quick and dirty. And uh, yeah, mostly because you're not gonna buy these exact motors anyway, probably. The first difference, and the most obvious one, this uses gasoline, this uses electricity. And to demonstrate actually how far the electric motor has come in efficiency over the years, then this battery is energy equivalent to 35 grams of gasoline. So this battery can travel 12.8 uh, nautical miles or like 23 kilometers or like six plus hours on water. Imagine how far you can get with 35 grams of gas gasoline. So yeah, that's really impressive actually. The second difference, the weight. Almost 30 kilos, 12 kilos. The next difference, the noise. the noise on this one. Store your motor in a garage, they said. It will be fine, they said. And the last difference, the price. Yes, this is not technically apples to apples because Yes, these are the only motors I have and this is a five horsepower one and this is like a two and a half one. So, but in terms of price, actually, this is around 1,200 euro-ish and this is around 1,500-ish. So for a small boat, you can pretty much go either one of them. And I will link up other options as well, like e-propulsion and uh, Ilco and all those prices also here up shown. So, conclusion time. Pretty great, eh? Yeah, except for one huge negative downside. Because, yeah, remember that 23 kilometer distance, six plus run hour time? Yeah, that reduces to 40 minutes and five kilometers if you give like 100% full throttle. Because the power output doesn't double or triple it's eight times so that's why only 40 minutes you can get full throttle out of this one so yeah basically the conclusion is if you're like if you're patient and if you like to go slow this is absolutely the way to go but yeah if you're unpatient this still has some value to it but yeah so thank you for watching uh, check out my bicycle tuning video that I did gotta go fast right so, and uh, see you in the next one.